In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to install the uh, flatline barrel system onto your Tipman X7 Phenom. We're first going to start off by removing the contents. You'll have your instructions, your flatline barrel, your accessory pack, and then you'll also have a barrel adapter. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering what this barrel adapter is for. Um, there's actually two different style barrel adapters. Um, we have one for the standard X7, which is already on the barrel itself. So this is the standard uh, barrel adapter for the basic X7. And then we have a newer style barrel adapter for the X7 Phenom. Now there's quite a bit of difference between these barrel adapters. Um, one of the main things is being that the barrel is more recessed into the adapter in comparison to the uh, stock X7 flatline. Um, what this does is this actually helps reduce paint breakage. Um, you know, when the flat, flat line first was introduced, um, we did have some reports of customers breaking paint. Kind of very rare, but uh, we developed this new uh, barrel adapter to help prevent that. And uh, I'll show you how to install that before we actually get that onto the Phenom. The only tool you'll really be needing for this is going to be a 330 seconds Allen wrench to remove your barrel adapter. You're just going to go ahead and you're going to completely remove the set screw for your barrel adapter. And then from there you're going to pull the barrel adapter off. And some of them will be really tight. So and then we'll just go ahead and discard that. Now you'll see the difference. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard here, but you'll see that there's a little Y shape or just the you know Y right on the front. And that's going to indicate that this particular barrel adapter is for the Phenom. And I'll show you the difference between the old one. The old one just has a straight line. So you have the Y for the Phenom and the straight line for the standard X7. So we're going to discard the one for the standard X7 and we're going to put on the new one for the Phenom. And you're just going to put that on there and you'll kind of see there's a line on the barrel. You want to make sure that you get that line on the barrel lined up with the line that's on the barrel adapter. And then you want to make sure that you have it completely seated into the adapter so you can kind of see there's no gap there. You want to make sure that there's no gap there. If there's a gap there, you're going to break paint. So make sure that you have your barrel adapter completely seated. And then go back through and make sure it's lined up one more time. As you can see, that's lined up perfectly. So we'll go ahead and we'll put our 3 30 seconds uh, set screw back in. Now one thing I want to advise is you don't want to put this set screw in really, really tight. Um, I mean, you just want to get it nice and snug. Um, and you can kind of feel the tension when it, when it actually runs into the barrel. And you don't want to over tighten it. Just get it nice and snug. Now one thing that will happen is if you over tighten it, you'll actually put a dent on the inside of the barrel. So you put a dent on the inside of the barrel, that will also cause you to break paint. So once you start to feel it run into the barrel, just give it a little extra you know, turn just to get it nice and snug. If it's too loose, your barrel will actually slide out of the adapter. So there's a real fine line there. You want to make sure that you don't get it too tight. At the same time, you don't want it to be real loose either. So now we'll go ahead, we'll finish out this install and kind of show you how to finish this. Just start off by removing your push pins. And then you're going to remove your shroud. Just kind of set our push pins off to the side here. I usually like to make sure that the barrel is nice and tight. And then from there, um, you'll be needing two Allen wrenches, your 1 8 just to kind of loosen up the uh, receiver bolts on the front side here. And 
And you're just going to loosen them. You don't have to completely remove them or anything. Just loosen them up. And then with your 330 seconds, you're going to loosen up the uh, bolt for your cyclone feeder system. And then from there, you know, your barrel's really tight into the adapter. I usually just pull it left to right, or as you're looking at it right now, I'm pulling it up and down. And what that's going to do is that's going to split the receivers a little bit. And then from there, you can kind of see I'm turning it right, but you want to turn it counterclockwise a quarter turn. And then you should be able to pull it straight out. And I usually wiggle it a little bit as I pull it straight out. And there's going to be a little tension there. Um, there's an O-ring on the outside of the barrel adapter, which helps hold it in tight. So there's, you're going to have to use a little bit of force there. But once you have that removed, you're going to be able to easily put your new flatline barrel right in. And then just make that quarter turn. And you can see that it's tight. Now that we have that in there, you can go ahead and slide your shroud back on. You have your shroud. And then you're going to go ahead and reinstall your push pins. Your short push pin is going to go into the top. Longer push pin is going to go in the bottom. And then from there, you're going to want to go back through and just kind of tighten up those receiver bolts again. Just tighten up your 1 8. And then you don't really have to wrench on them. Just make sure they're nice and snug. And then your 3 16 for the cyclone feeder. And that is how you install the flatline barrel system on the Tipman X7 Phenom.